Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this, we'll talk about IRCC invites 7,000 express entry candidates in category based draw for French language proficiency. In a significant development within Canada's immigration landscape, the Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada IRCC, has recently extended invitations to 7,000 express entry candidates. This invitation came through a category based draw focusing specifically on French language proficiency. This move underscores Canada's commitment to fostering linguistic diversity and encouraging individuals with proficiency in the French language to contribute to the country's rich cultural mosaic. As we delve into the details of this draw, it becomes evident that language proficiency, especially in French, is playing a pivotal role in shaping the nation's immigration strategy. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. IRCC invites 7,000 express entry candidates in category based draw for French language proficiency immigration refugees and citizenship Canada, IRCC, has issued invitations to apply, EDAs, in the latest express entry draw. The department invited 7,000 candidates in category based selection draw for candidates with French language proficiency. Candidates required a minimum comprehensive ranking system, CRS, score of 365. The lowest minimum CRS score of the year so far. Today's draw is the second of the week following the January 31st draw in which 730 candidates were invited in a general draw. They required a minimum CRS of 541. There were two other draws in January. The first was on January 23rd and invited 1,040 candidates with a minimum CRS score of 543 were invited in a general draw. The draw before that took place on January 10th and was also general and invited 1,510 candidates with a CRS score of 546. It is still too early in the year to predict how express entry draws will unfold throughout 2024. In 2023, IRCC held 42 draws and issued ETAs to more than 110,000 candidates to help meet both the 2023 and 2024 admissions targets set out in the Immigration Levels Plan. Summary of Express Entry Draw Results in 2024 Changes to Post-Graduation Work Permits Many Express Entry candidates gain the work experience required for their programs by working in Canada after graduation from a Canadian post-secondary institution. One of the most common work permits for new graduates is the Post-Graduation Work Permit PGWP. On January 22, IRCC announced changes to eligibility criteria for PGWPs. Effective September 1, international students in a program at a private college that is part of curriculum licensing agreement with a public college will no longer be eligible for a PGWP. Also, graduate-level students in a program shorter than the requisite eight months will now be eligible for a three-year PGWP. Currently, graduates are not eligible for a PGWP if their program is shorter than eight months and the length of time a PGWP is valid is tied to length of the graduate's academic program. For example, a one-year program would be valid for a one-year permit. This means that more graduate-level students will be able to get enough work experience in Canada to apply for a spot in the express entry application pool. What is Express Entry? The Express Entry Application Management System oversees the applications from three of Canada's most prominent economic immigration programs, the Federal Skilled Workers Program FSWP, the Canadian Experience Class CEC, and the Federal Skilled Trades Program FSTP. Candidates in these programs are given a score using the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS. Scores are based on human capital attributes such as work experience, education, age, occupation and language ability. For example, a candidate between the ages of 20 to 29 receives 100 CRS points and less from age 30 and up. In May 2023, IRCC announced that it was introducing category-based selection draws for express entry candidates who could demonstrate they had work experience in an in-demand occupation. One is for candidates with strong French language proficiency and the remaining five categories are occupation-based for 1. Healthcare occupations 2 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM, professions. 3. Trades occupations, such as carpenters, plumbers, and contractors. 4. Transport occupations. 5. Agriculture and agri-food occupations. Applying for express entry is a multi-step process. First, an applicant must self-evaluate if they are eligible for an express entry program. 
All three express entry programs have different eligibility criteria. The second step is creating a profile in the express entry pool and obtaining a CRS score. From here, candidates must wait to receive an invitation to apply in an express entry draw. Once a candidate receives an ETA, they have 60 days to gather their documents and submit their final application for permanent residence to IRCC. The recent category-based draw by the IRCC not only highlights the importance of linguistic diversity in Canada's immigration approach but also signifies the country's recognition of the significant contributions individuals with French language proficiency can make to Canadian society. As we observe the evolving dynamics of immigration policies, it is clear that language skills, particularly in French, are becoming increasingly valuable assets for those aspiring to build their futures in the Great White North. This draw serves as a testament to Canada's commitment to creating an inclusive and multilingual society, one that embraces individuals from diverse linguistic backgrounds, enriching the nation in the process. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.